Good morning, everybody. This is Friday. Wow. The first day of the month of July. Hallelujah. You are welcome, whatever you are listening to this broadcast, to the month of July. This is Moment of Destiny with Pastor Adebo coming your way this morning, blessing you in the second half of the year in the midst of this fasting, the midst of the year. I want us to give thanks to God, whatever you are. Please open your mouth and give him thanks. Whatever you are, just bless his name. Glorify his name. Thank him. Go ahead and bless him. Give him all the glory. Thank you. Let's go ahead and appreciate the Lord for keeping us for six months. Six months of mercy. Six months of tender mercy and loving kindness. Go ahead and appreciate him. Father, we thank you. Father, we praise you. We appreciate you. We receive you. We glorify you for what you have done. Receive all our praise. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I haven't given thanks to God for uh, helping us to see a new month. We are bound to be thankful to God for what He's done. Six months of mighty workings of the Holy Spirit and the workings of God. And I believe quite right that God has great things. In these seven days fasting, today is the fifth day and the fourth day of the month. And the fourth day of the, uh, the first half of this year. The fasting continues. Today we are praying about the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Uh, fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit. As we fast, the fasting period is a period whereby people are able to have encounters that will release new wines and bring about new wine skin. Talking about the vessel, uh, the, the fasting produces a kind of it, it fashions you to be a kind of vessel that will attract a kind of anointing. For instance. Sometimes through really fasting and prayer, you are fashioned into a vessel that attracts the Holy Spirit, which is the wine. They were, they were fasting for 10 days in the upper room for, 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 the, for, for the Holy Spirit to come. The reason why it took 10 days is that that was how long it took to fashion out the vessel. In every encounters, it is the principle of vessel force. Because the kind of vessel you are, the kind of anointing you carry. For instance... You cannot be a liar and the prophetic anointing come on you. When God wants to make you that, God will cleanse you and purge you from that character so that you not be prophet lying instead of prophesying. So the kind of vessel you are, Elijah was a prophet. If you notice, John the Baptist was a prophet. They were the same kind of uh, 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 vessel, men and women that are, are ready to spend time, stay with God, work in holiness. You know, that man was with a woman for three and he didn't touch the woman. Holiness that draws the Spirit of God. Not only that, uh, that's what fasting does for you. Not only that, he also uh, makes you to acquire the presence of God. He said, can the bridegroom fast? Can the friend of the bridegroom fast while the bridegroom is with them? That is Luke chapter 5 from verse 34. And he said, but the day will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them. In those days, they will fast. In other words, if they're going to see the bridegroom do the things, when Jesus was here, the disciples never did anything. Everything was provided. Miracles was happening everywhere. They didn't even need to fast and pray. Everything was made available for them. Because Jesus, the bridegroom, was there. But after Jesus was taken away, if they're going to see those miracles of the time of Jesus, they're going to see those mighty manifestations in those days they were to fast. So fasting help you uh, more or less uh, uh, recapture the presence of God, which is needed for us as we enter to this new month. He said, without your presence, carry us not hence. If you will not go with us, he said, we will not go anywhere. The presence of God is needed. Just like Moses prayed, we need his presence to take us to the promised land this, this year. He said, very clear, he said, I will not go except your presence go with us. 
but that presence was 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 captured in the place of prayer and fasting that is why we need to fast our fasting is to recapture god's presence that we dearly need that we desperately need for this second hour of the year to give direction to our destiny so begin to pray wherever you are right now grace to wait upon the lord grace to fast that will fashion me to the kind of vessel that will deem for me to be that will fashion me and prepare me for your visitation I receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Lord, I receive this grace. Thank you, Lord Jesus, to be a right vessel for the kind of anointing you want to place upon me. Thank you for this fresh anointing for this second hour of the year. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. If you are, you are not born again, take this prayer after me. Lord, you are come to you right now. Forgive me my sins. I know I'm a sinner. Forgive me, Lord, for all any wrong I may have done. I accept into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving my soul. In Jesus' name, amen. Please meet me by 7.30 on Zoom 5037785307738. Zoom 30, which is the same thing as 2.30 in Washington, D.C. Join us for this life-changing encounter with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost night, the Holy Spirit night. And you will see the hand of God very, very visible in your affair in the name of Jesus. So, if you are so connect with us on this Zoom, we'll be praying because it's Holy Ghost service for the month of July. Connect with us and you encounter the testimonies of heaven. Get ready as you attend this program. You'll have not remained the same again by 7.30 p.m. and which is 2.30 p.m. and 3 p.m. Uh, will be uh, uh, live on Facebook 3 p.m. U.S. time and 8 p.m. U.K. time. God bless you. See you there in this program. Please share this book out with other people. Bye-bye.